everyone and welcome to another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now today we're going to be making kind of a festive card but with contemporary colours and it's really quick and easy. Probably the things you've already got at home. So I've got myself a scrap of cardstock. I've also got myself a card base and four Distress Oxide colours that I love together. Now of course you can mix these up to be any colours you want them to be. So with my scrap of paper I am going to cut into it kind of a cube so I'm just going to cut a right angle so there's one and then I'm going to come and cut just up here so I've kind of cut a corner out like so now this is going to be a template for me and I'm going to just mark on here with a pencil roughly whereabouts I want the center of my template to be that will be calm clear in just a second now I've got my blending brushes and I have arranged my cubes in the order that I want to do them. So let's just take one to begin with, doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to place the corner of my cardstock against the cross that we've made and I'm going to load up my brush with ink. I'm just going to hold that there rather than, you can tape it if you'd like, but just tape it at the edges here rather than around here. And I'm going to blend some ink quite heavily in this corner just here to start with so that's quite heavy there and then I'm going to just gently fade that out now it's a good idea to just mark on your cardstock roughly where you plan on fading it out to so probably two or three inches either way now when I say fading it out I mean we're not actually applying any more ink we're just using what's on our brush, working in circles and working our way out bigger and bigger circles till we get this lovely sort of ombre look. Then I'm going to remove that. I'm going to go along to the next corner. If you are at all concerned that you've got a different colour ink on your cardstock here and that might affect your blending, use a little bit of low tack tape. So I've just got a repositionable tape. This is my Creative Craft Products one. I'm going to put this over the edge. Um, I say over the edge, along the edges of both. This is now wipe clean, so uh, each time I do my blending, I can just give it a quick wipe. I'm just lining that up and doing exactly the same, heavier in the middle and working my way out lighter and lighter. I'm going to work my way around and just repeat this for the other two colours as well. Then I'm going to take my favourite colour of all of them, that's probably going to be the salvaged patina, and I'm just going to splat a little bit of ink. And I do this by smooching a bit onto a resistant mat, spritzing with a little bit of water, and then picking this up and tapping my brush to give some splats. Now I'd also like a really snowy look to this card, so I'm also going to do some splatting in the same way with some white ink too. Then I've got myself a sentiment die. Now this is the word joy. This comes from Simply Cards and Papercraft magazine, issue 249. Um, I really love this sentiment. It's nice and bold. I'm going to cut this from white cardstock and I'm going to cut the outline from some vellum. So I've layered the two up there and that's going to sit over my coloured panels there and I'm just going to pop on the back some foam tape. This is just going to help raise it up, give it a little bit more of a drop shadow. And then this is going to go, now this can go directly over but I quite like to offset it so the J is falling in the centre lines there. Then I'm going to also take from another magazine, I must admit this was a creative stamping one but I can't remember uh, which one, it was about a year ago but I've got to the world there. So I'm just going to stamp that in white embossing ink um, and white embossing powder onto black cardstock for a little bit of contrast. And this pop of black can fit absolutely anywhere you want it to. I'm going to do it probably about there. There we go, so there's a really cute pastel Christmas card that you can make in no time at all. You can create these backgrounds really, really quickly as a pop of colour on a plain white card base, a simple white sentiment over the top, and you've got yourself a gorgeous contemporary card. 
Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. If you like these quick makes, you follow along with the playlist just here. Don't forget to, of course, to subscribe to my channel and anything that I've used in the way of distress inks and oxides and everything can be found in this link just up here. Take care. I'll see you again very soon.